Hi Gordon, nice to see you again. Um, so, what, so can you tell me a bit about the methods that you use? Well, we try to use uh, quite exploratory methods. We use a variant on agile methods, but as a research methodology. So what we try and do is rather than going in and working with companies and trying to understand the requirements, we try and iterate towards a solution and involve the whole cross-disciplinary team and the stakeholders in every iteration. I'm very aware that you came in and did a study for us about how effective these methods were. Yeah. What were your findings? Um, I think one of the main things that came out was like how positive the partnership was. So the partnership between the, the researchers and people based outside of the university. So um, it felt like that partnership was really, really strong, a, a genuine partnership, a genuine collaboration. Um, and I, I sort of, would refer to them as the external partners but that word external really ceased to have any meaning anymore because it was clear that they were much more integrated than that so that came out really really strongly for me i think and it there was a sense that the the iterative approach really enabled that because there was a kind of constant toing and froing with the key partners you know is, is this working what about this and the use of some technologies that enabled that as well such as jupyter notebooks that just enable people to work together um, and on something in real time and iterating on that in real time. Um, what, what for you were the positives, Gordon, from the approach? Well, I think I'm going to pick up on what you said because that resonated very much with me. I remember when we worked with uh, JBA and the Environment Agency in, in particular on the flood sprint, mm -hmm. when we were thinking about how digital technology can support the future flood risk management. No, they really became part of the team. Mm, they were mm -hmm. completely integrated in. And I also felt as if the... I also felt as if... You know, I also felt as if it really supported a cross-disciplinary collaboration. Every discipline was important. It wasn't just the people that were digital makers. Yeah. For, for you, were there any downsides of the technique? Yeah, I, th I think there were some. So um, obviously I was involved in interviewing people that had been involved in the project in lots of lots of different ways, um, partners, researchers, um, and that kind of thing. I think something that struck me from talking to the researchers on the project was that it was quite a challenge to switch so quickly between domains and having to familiarise yourself very fast with a new domain. I think that was a challenge and the pace of it could be challenging as well. Um, I think there was another challenge, which was kind of how you, perhaps as an early career researcher, kind of position yourself as a cross-disciplinary academic in an academic setting that doesn't necessarily encourage that and instead encourages you to kind of find a niche and stick very much to that niche. And I think for me that kind of is a real challenge uh, for academia to actually support um, much, much better um, kind of innovative cross-disciplinary work, really. What about the challenges from your perspective? I'm just going to pick up on that last point because we kept running up against disciplinary norms. Now, mm -hmm. Universities are quite siloed institutions yeah. and careers can follow quite siloed paths. And I think as universities, we have to do better you know, to really encourage cross-disciplinary work. And yeah. that, means a, that means a rethink for the system in many ways. Yeah, I'm, I agree. I'm kind of curious, you know, these positives and these issues that it raises, would you use this technique going forward in your research? Yeah, I, I think so. And I guess I've also had some experiences um, of using it in the past because I worked with someone who'd also worked with you in the past. Mm. And so um, it was interesting to work in that way. And I think... I, I don't really situate myself within a discipline particularly, so I also think like the way of working resonates with me personally as mm. well. Do you think you'll carry on with this kind of way of working? I'm completely sold in the techniques. I think the advantages way outweigh the problems. I think the problems can be overcome. I mean, for me, I think one of the big lessons learned is because of the pace of the research, to make sure you leave enough space 
you know, you leave reflective moments and you space out mm -hmm. so it's not frantic all the time. And I think with that, we can have a method that's much more sustainable. Yeah, that resonates from my part of the experience as well. So yeah. here's to more reflection, I guess. Absolutely.